air signs it's nicola so this is your day to read this is for march the 4th 2020 what messages and guidance do we have this is for gemini libra and aquarius sun moon rising in venus what messages or guidance do we have for gemini libra and aquarius sun moon rising in venus this is for march the 4th 2020 okay. what guidance do we have for gemini sun moon rising in venus all right gemini we have we have goddess of psychic protection. It says what you believe you create, no one can harm you. Okay. We also have angel of emergence. It says it's time for the real you to emerge. All right. So let's see what messages we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have goddess of the unknown. It says a new chapter of your life is around the corner. Remove fear and embrace the unknown. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Aquarius? All right, we're going to take the one that turned over. All right, we have Goddess of Compassion. It says self-criticism is diminishing your sense of self-worth. The underlying message we have for all of my air signs is Angel of Relaxation. It says let go of desired outcomes and you will get what you want. All right. So let's see what messages we have. What messages do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for March 4th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for March 4th, 2020. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have temptation under here, okay? Could be dealing with some temptations, um, some things that could be trying to bind you to some things. Uh, temptation usually talks about your desires in this deck. The temptation talks about your desires, your lust. You see that apple is bitten out of, directly connected to the desire to have knowledge or the desire to have, you know, Think about Adam and Eve. So you could also be dealing with the Capricorn. This is the um, devil card in this deck, but it doesn't, this deck does not have a devil card. It has a temptation card. So you could be tempted by lust. You could be tempted by money. You could be tempted by knowledge, a thirst for knowing something, um, having negative or fear-based thoughts, ego type of things. All right. So eight of pentacles here. This could have to do with your work. This could have to do with personal development. Six of pentacles here. Some of you guys are working to balance out a situation, but you could be having some negative or fear-based thoughts. Ten swords here in the crown and energy. So you may be needing to embrace the end of difficult situations. This is about money. This is a money read. This is most definitely a money read. If it's not about money, this is about creating something solid. And some of you guys have some negative or fear-based thoughts around that. So even though the Seven of Pentacles, you may be at a temporary pause in action. Again, Queen of Pentacles here. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Queen of Pentacles is Virgo energy, but we got the double card there. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, or you could be in the space of, again, having negative or fear-based thoughts. Really needing to be nurturing and compassionate to self. All right. Some of you guys may need to make a compassionate decision in regards to your money, especially if you're dealing with um, some codependent type of situations, because the devil card also talks about codependencies. So we have the eight of pentacles here. Seven pentacles here. Some of you guys are at a temporary pause in action. Some success has been unfulfilled because it requires some more work. Four of cups. And I feel like with the four of cups, two of cups, there's some regret you have around a partnership or either a decision. Something delaying here. So there are some delays around investing into a situation. And I feel like there's some regret that you're feeling in regards to that. If not, you're just unhappy about the delays of, um, to investing into something that could bring wealth or stability for you again queen of pentacles under here so some of you guys could be dealing with a earth sign we have the six of pentacles why is the six of pentacles here in the past energy Oof. so we got the knight of pentacles here eight of swords here and the five of swords so i feel like if you were once 
stuck in something, if you made an unwise decision and were once stuck in something, I feel like that is being reversed. But I feel like you also are going to need to put some work into a situation that maybe you fear investing into. So with this Knight of Pentacles, this does represent putting things in motion, embracing again the end of difficulties. I feel like if you're dealing with an earth sign, you may be needing to either embrace the end of a difficult situation with that person, or this can be investing. And this looks like a feminine energy. So I do feel like either you are taking on this feminine energy or you're dealing with a feminine energy earth sign here and there's some fear surrounding that so ten of swords here why is this ten of swords here in the surrounding energy two of swords here so i feel like for a lot of you guys you've been mentally conflicted been at a stalemate here could be, have been stuck because you were dealing with family situations but now you have clarity Ace of Pentacles here, Ace of Swords, you, you released a family situation. Now you have clarity about what's going to bring you happiness. Some of you guys are reaching the end of, you're completing a cycle. So this, even though you've completed a cycle, what you're moving into now is going to require some work. It's going to require an investment, a personal investment from you in order to put things in motion. So I do feel like for a lot of you guys, this is about making a, a, compassionate decision for self to put the work in necessary to overcome either a blockage or, or some fear that you may be facing two of swords three of ones here i feel like you need to remove the mental conflict take the blindfold off establish your strength and really move forward making plans or move forward with the plans that you've made this requires work or a personal investment I don't know how some of you guys are going to feel about that because I don't feel like you want to put any work into something. So you could be Seven of Pentacles just in a space of waiting to see what's going to happen. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Ten Cups here. You're investing into your own happiness and abundance. Three of Swords. But some of you guys, in order to do that, you have to sever a connection with a lover. Okay. So I do feel like this is the reason why you're at a stalemate. So this is a masculine energy that has fear of investing into a situation because it does require three of swords, three of cups, cutting off either some third parties or cutting off three minus ten, seven cups, some options here. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're needing to make a decision to really move toward happiness. Yesterday we had making room for abundance. I feel like you've already done that because three of swords, three of cups, you cut off a third party or you cut off an option. Now you're at a temporary pause in action because what you're having to do moving forward again requires you to actually make a personal investment, meaning you're going to have to invest either your time, your energy, your your attention into this situation in order to get things moving. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? Ace of Wands. Trying to tell you. Some of y'all moving toward an earth sign here. Um, There could be a commitment here. Queen of Swords here seeing the truth of a situation. Some of you guys are seeing truth and clarity and deciding to move forward. King and Queen of Pentacles. Now, if this is not an earth sign, this could be a life partner that you're in the space of wanting to move toward. All right, King of Pentacles is Taurus energy, Queen of Pentacles is Virgo energy, but again, I got a match here. So whatever this is, this could be your life partner, this could be someone that helps you to build, to grow, but it does require, again, a personal investment on your part. That investment does not have to be money, guys. Investment may be your own time, your own attention, your own dedication, a commitment. That may be, the personal investment may be a commitment. But I feel like this is a, with the lover's card under here, I feel like this is a balanced choice. Because the lover's card talks about making a decision based off your emotional and your mental considerations. I feel like this is a balanced, good decision moving forward. What messages do we have? messages guidance what message and if you're the feminine energy here this may be the personal investment may be you needing to nurture yourself and be more compassionate in regards to the situation the masculine energy may have to be compassionate in regards to investing into the situation that is the action that is taking um so put it like this if you're a feminine energy you're in the space of needing to kind of wait for things to come into fruition we got true love here if you're a masculine energy then this is about you investing actually taking action and making a personal a personal investment here i'll be what guidance do we have for gemini sun moon rising and venus moving forward 
we have cycles and rhythms. So it's got true love under there. It says, honor those cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. Okay. What guidance do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Moving forward, we got transformation. So it says, you're experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. We got divine passion under there. Y'all got some good stuff popping off, air signs. Okay. What messages do we have? Ooh. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, moving forward. Okay, we have two. So the first one we have is purification. It's time. It says it's time for a cleansing, detoxification of your body and mind. We also have the arts. It says express yourself through creative activities. So Aquarius, you might be in a space of needing to purify yourself in order to bring in. So this may be a personal development of yourself. For some of you guys, this may not have to do with anyone else. This may be grounding out your own body. The underlying message we have for my air signs is divine passion. It says, be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? And you know how this resonates with what's going on in your life. If you're not dealing with anyone, if you're in the space of getting out of, you know, situations, this, this is a personal development for you to really move toward abundance of self, to really move toward a stable being. If you're in a connection with someone, this could be about you being more compassionate and either A, allowing a situation to come into fruition or B, taking action and really making a commitment toward the situation. This is all I have. Until next time, y'all. Peace.